Hi everybody, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to change the skin mesh renderer mesh. So pretty much this mesh right here. So how to change it through script. This is requested by a viewer. Let's just get started. Now this character right here is from an asset from the Unity Asset Store. And it's this one right here. It's called Low Poly Universal Character Module. And it's by Code Word Game Assets. And I'll leave a link down below. And let's just get started. So to do this, to change the skin mesh renderer, we're gonna create an empty game object. And this is just to hold the script. So I'm just gonna put script holder, just so we know what it is. And I'm just gonna zero this out just just because of old habits then we're going to add a component or a script and the script name i'm going to pick is change skin mesh but you guys could name it anything you want i'm going to add it create and add it and then i'm going to open it up in visual studios once it's opened up in visual studios i'm going to also make it work for a button as well as a key press for that to work what we're going to do is first we're going to add the variables we need so we're going to add serialized field so we will be able to see this in the inspector and because it's private so if there's no private or public keyword in front of the variable then it's automatically private and we're also going to make a serialized field not only for the mesh so this is the mesh we're going to change to so mesh to change to and then we're going to add a skin mesh renderer so that's the actual renderer that we want to change and then we're going to add a function a public void and it's just going to be called change mesh I'm just going to close that off and the reason we're using public is so we could have so the button will be able to to call this function so we're going to start by calling skin mesh render so i'm just going to copy and paste and then we're going to put dot shared mesh so this is the actual thing that we have to change called shared mesh and then we're just going to put equal to mesh to change to so that's pretty much all we have to do just remember that skin mesh renderer dot shared mesh and change it to the mesh you want to change to and for it to work on the key or your keyboard we're just going to put input dot key or get key down and the key that i'm going to use is the space key so whenever I hit the space, this function will be called. And the function we're going to call is change mesh. So now we'll just make sure it's all saved and go back. Now back here, we're going to add this skin mesh renderer. So this is going to be the actual skin mesh renderer, the hair. Well, I'm going to use the hair for this example. So just drag it in. And then we're going to pick the mesh we want to change. So I'm going to go here, click on this mesh, and then just browse, see which one I would like to change it to. So we're just going to add this big set of hair right here. Or actually, we'll just add this hair right here. So I'll just leave it like that for now. Click on it so I could get the exact location. And then just drag it in. And I'll go back here and give him his normal set of hair. And then I'll just hit play. And now when I hit the space bar, it should change his hair. As you can see it changed now for it to work on a button all you would have to do is add your ui your button and i'm going to put it on the left corner and i'm going to move the width over actually i'm going to position it over and position it down and then maybe add some more width some more height and then we'll just change the name this is not necessary just so we know what that button pretty much does but like i said it's not necessary and then go to the button so this is what the necessary part go to the button go to on click add your on click event now the object it's asking for is pretty much the game object that is holding the script so we just put script holder in there go to our script so this is our script right here change skin mesh so it would be this right here and then once we go to it we would look for this actual function so it's called change mesh so go to change skin mesh change mesh and then all you have to do is hit play and once you click that button his hair will change now you could also do four loops and everything like that so not only one piece of his body or skin mesh would change but you could change multiple at a time and that's pretty much it for this video i uh, just wanted to apologize for not posting more videos the reason for it is that my computer was acting really really slow and i couldn't really do anything without getting a little frustrated at my computer so I decided to just take a little break until i was able to afford a new computer so now i got this new computer and with this new computer i'm hoping that i'll be able to post more often so once again thank you guys for everything for sticking in with the channel and also if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that like button hit that subscribe button